So what we got here is an auto chicken door. Um, I did a lot of research and because we have a goose, a lot of the, the common ones you can see a lot of people buy are kind of small, but she's got to fit through it. So I kept looking around and I found this one. We called chicken guard. And so how this works is basically, it's like a fishing reel inside here. So it, I'll close it, but it just goes, it just basically unwinds the string and then it reels it back up to open and close it. Um, and I thought that'd be perfect because then I could build whatever size door I wanted. So this thing's about a foot wide and then it goes up. I don't remember how high I got it to go, but it can go up like two feet. Um, but I think I only made it go like, I don't know, maybe 18 inches or so. But as you can see, it closes really well. I put a two by four, so it, it closes nice and tight. And then I made this, so it's pretty loose. Like it just can wobble in there. Um, I don't, I don't worry about anything getting in there, but I wanted it loose because, uh, So it doesn't stick there's like no friction it just kind of wobbles in there and it works pretty good we still got to figure out the uh the light sensor um that takes some fine tuning so we'll have to figure that out uh we were monkeying with it this weekend but it closed too early and you can change the whole the settings all the timers you can you can adjust it um but we just put it on a ton of a set time now it opens and closes which seems to work pretty good we got the extreme version uh so this one you can look up all the stats but um this one can lift like four times the weight i think it can lift like eight pounds and the other ones are like two pounds i think um and and it can go down it can op function in uh like cooler temperatures i think it's like negative four degrees five degrees or something something around there but um, yeah, so we're in Minnesota. So we wanted it to go as cool, cold as it can. And then in the winter, we might just have to come out and open it up for them. Cause you know, if it gets 10 below, they usually don't even come out, but it seems to work pretty well. Um, I like it. It's super simple design. It's got a lot of options. It's got a good warranty, pretty easy to set up. I like the fact you can build your own door. That was that was the one that just made me order it, uh, just being able to build my own door. This is just a piece of wood. I think this wood was about five pounds and this can lift like eight pounds. So with the paint and everything, I don't know, it's probably five and a half pounds and it lifts it fine. It shows on here when, it, when you lift it, it shows uh, like how much power it's using. It only uses about half the, half the amount of power that it has, so. Seems to work pretty good. I like it. So I did want to show you, I do have on, on the chicken uh, coop, I do actually have a sliding door that, that's like a string that I can lower down, but I, I don't really do that much anymore. I did it, I did it sometimes when it was uh, super cold in the winter, like well below zero and it's windy. If I close that, it gets pretty, uh, it stays pretty warm in there. But it, I don't know. I like the I like to have it open because I do have vent holes and a vent window, as you can see back there. But it's nice to have it open, get a little cross breeze. But the reason I wanted it in this coop because this our coop is fully, fully sealed in. Um, all the cha all the fencing goes underground, like I don't remember, it's like eight ten inches. Um, so nothing can really dig underneath it easy, and it's sealed all the way to the top. It's covered. So if I put I put this door here. Cause then they can at least get in here and then in the in the morning when they wake up they can come out peck around and eat their food um and do all that before this opens and then we set the time and we want this to open like with you know if we want to if we don't get up early or whatever i think we have it set up at seven o'clock it opens um but as you can see she can get out there perfectly fine so that's why i put it the door going in to their run because we have a fully sealed 
run. They could come out. They can come out here in the middle of the night if they want to. They never will, but if they want to, they can. <laughs> she likes to run and scream. So if anyone's, if you're in the market or anyone else you know is in the market, uh, send them this video. Um, and I highly suggest looking at these. It's pretty easy to set up. All you need is just a quick little door and just needs to slide in and out a, cha a channel. Keep it loose, but not too loose where you can get in there. Like if, if when it's closed, something could get in there. A uh, piece of cake setting up. And the, the options on these things are almost endless. They could pretty much do whatever you'd want. Um, so check the, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Uh, for where I got this and uh, yeah like subscribe and uh, I hope to see you next time